Former President Trump doubling down on calling himself a protector of women, even after he says his campaign advisors told him not to. They said, sir, I just think it's inappropriate for you to say, pay these guys a lot of money, can you believe it? I said, well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. Trump also addressing reports that he promised control of public health agencies to Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who is an anti-vaccine activist. He's going to be with us, and he's going to make sure our food is safe, our people are safe, our women are safe. Vice President Kamala Harris responding, saying putting an anti-abortion conspiracy theorist in charge of our public health agencies says everything you need to know about how Donald Trump would govern. Trump with a photo op, dressing as a sanitation worker. For Joe Biden to make that statement, it's really a disgrace. Trump slamming President Biden for appearing to call his supporters garbage. Biden says he misspoke and was referring to the comic at Trump's rally who called Puerto Rico yeah. a floating I mean, island of garbage. Harris going one-on-one -on -one with ABC's okay. Mary Bruce. My highest priority is to bring down prices and bring down costs. That is one of the biggest issues that is affecting the American people. I've been traveling the country. They know the price of groceries is still too high. I know it's still too high. Bringing down the cost of housing, bringing down taxes for middle-class families so they can not just get by but get ahead. Those are my highest priorities. And Harris was asked about the possibility of becoming the first female president in U.S. history. She says she does not expect anybody to vote for her because of her race or her gender. She says she wants to earn their vote with a plan to make their life better. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.